Our other big story this afternoon, the historic double strike that grinds Hollywood to a halt. The future of the entertainment industry is at stake. 160,000 actors, they joined screenwriters on the picket lines. It's the first time that has happened in six decades. And it has been a bitter labor battle with studios and streaming services, which are demanding major concessions. KTLA's Rachel Menetoff joins us live from Hollywood with the key issues. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Sam. Hi, Corrine. Good afternoon to you both. Today's strike wrapped up around 1 o'clock. Writers and actors will be back out here Monday at 9 a.m. They say the studios have been unwilling to offer a fair deal and have been reluctant to come to the table. SAG after President Fran Drescher, she has been making the rounds today. She says the stakes are high and people around the world will be watching what's happening here. A strong show of support as actors hit the picket lines for the first official day, joining close to 11,000 members of the Writers Guild who have been striking since May. It's pretty incredible. But for tomorrow, but for the next day, and for the future of this industry, like this is necessary. It starts with you and you and me. Kirk Palmer and David Robinson represent thousands of actors who say they're beginning their fight to regulate the use of artificial intelligence. They're also calling for transparency from streaming services when it comes to residual pay. Getting paid for all the work that we do, getting paid fairly, and getting the piece of the pie that's you know, close to what we put in. These are the people that make our business. sag after president Fran Drescher made appearances at a number of studios from Netflix to Warner Brothers and Paramount. The eyes of the world, the eyes of this nation, workers everywhere are waiting to see what happens in this moment. If we don't nip this in the bud right now, we're all going to be at risk of losing our jobs, and that is not okay with us. In a statement released just as the strike was announced, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, or AMPTP, says it has offered a generous deal with historic pay and residual increase, higher caps on pension and health contributions, and a groundbreaking AI proposal that protects actors' digital likeness and more. It says, quote, we are deeply disappointed that SAG-AFTRA has decided to walk away from negotiation. <laughs> actors and writers are protesting very similar issues. Alicia Carroll is a WGA team captain who says having both unions standing together like this is powerful. It's, uh, I think, really affirming to a lot of people knowing that, you know, no matter what the, you know, executives say that we're being unrealistic, we're not being unrealistic because all of us are united and we all have uh, very similar issues on the table. You know, they're being unreasonable and not wanting to negotiate fairly with us in good faith. And Mayor Karen Bass is also weighing in. She says this is an urgent issue and impacts our overall economy. And she was encouraging of both sides to work around the clock to come to an agreement soon. That's the very latest from Hollywood. I'm Rachel Menatoff, KTLA 5 News. And stay with KTLA 5 for more live coverage on the SAG after strike all day long. Rachel, go get nice and cool in the van. Yeah. <laughs>